everything he's telling me rings true. I got zero problem, man. Every time you bump that radio down, it sounds real, real nice around San Diego. Hey, uh, did he tell you, uh, me trying to put a bunch of out and turn up with a tube tester? A410, I've been telling that come here to get a tube tester for a long time, man. I say there's one thing about it, you've got too many tube type radios and too many tube type amplifiers not to have a tube tester, man. That's a necessity. Uh, he told me the kind to look for, and I tried to look on the eBay there, man. I was going to snatch him one up, but uh, they didn't have one on there, so he doesn't really mess with all that computer stuff, so uh, I was going to snatch one up for him if there's one on there. Told you a B and K C. Well, I don't even remember what it was. I know it was a B and K, but I I got it I've got it wrote down over here somewhere, but I don't remember exactly which one. Uh, he said to get, but anyway, I've got it wrote down over here somewhere, man. Anyway, we'll have to uh, we'll get him hooked up here for too long, man. We'll uh, we'll get that sucker hooked up. What do you think? Oh yeah, man. Yeah, sure enough. Okay, yeah, he was telling me, man. He said only get the one with the B. So I looked for the one with the B, and I couldn't find the 747B. That's what it was. They had a guy that was uh, charging to calibrate them, but I couldn't find any of the Bs. But I bet there's some of the regular 747s on there. He said it's got to be the B now. It's got to be the B. I don't know where he got that in his head at, but anyway. Uh, he must have, when you said the B was better or something, I guess that's what he thought he had to have, but I'll see if I can hook him up with one of them 747s there. Uh, other than the protection circuitry and the B, I mean, you know, the little doctor obviously grab for the B if it's possible, but, uh, uh, you won't have no problem with the regular one, trust me, A14, yeah, he needs it more for his radios than anything, you know what I mean, for these, uh, his trams and stuff like that. He needs it more for that than anything. He, he's got a, a few tube-type kickers over there, but mostly he needs it for his radios. Uh, he uses, you know, he, he'd use it for them more than anything because he's all the time tinkering with those trams and stuff. I told him, I said, any time you can use something to uh, save you from taking a trip to see the technician, man, I said, that's a good investment, you know what I mean? Hey, Roger Quack, same back to you, man. I won't keep you held up. I just, uh, this is where I talk local, and I just turned this thing on and uh, heard you in there. I wasn't even going to uh, talk any DX today here, man, but I figured up this, uh, fired up this old yak and heated it up here, and I thought, man, maybe he'll be there. Maybe he'll be there when I get it warmed up, because uh, I Lord knows you're a channel roamer, man. So I thought, well, my luck will be I get all this stuff fired up here, and uh, he'll already roll down the band somewhere. won't even be in there anymore. But uh, anyway, Quack, you sounding good out here. Looking real good on the S meter here, man. I know you don't fool with any of that... Uh, YouTube stuff or anything like that, but I, I do like to record you, man. Let you let everybody let the world know how good uh how good that radio sounds out here in Tennessee. As it does, it's it's making a good trip out here. Sure is. 
that one of a kind uh one of a kind sound man i strive to make this thing sound pretty good so i heard a video on it the other day hopefully it's uh sounding like it was then if it is i'm uh i'm happy with it anyway quack take care man sounding good out here in tennessee till we do it again if you talk to banjo before i do tell him he's still a mud duck in my book quack with you good sounding radio your rooster in 10 is gone i'll see you <laughs> Well, bud, that bad boy sounds real nice. Hey, Rooster Stir, that thing sounds real nice. That's just not putting some icing on the cake. It's just walking the dog and sounding super 1080. Good afternoon, please. It's teasing up into your evening time. Hey, Rooster Stir, uh, hey, trust me, the secret is just fine with me. Oh, Banjo told me a couple of little something something she's got in the works. It's all good with me, brother. I cannot wait. Have yourself a super good day, man. A big old four fingers in a tub. Hey, Rooster, check it out. I'm a super one of them web feet up and wave at you as well. Enjoy it, enjoy it. Quack, quack radio. My little world class. Fisher Price Special. I'll see ya. And that's a quack, quack, uh, quack, quack, Roger. A hey, quack. As Banjo says, the best is yet to come, baby. <laughs> That's what Banjo says, man. The best is yet to come. All right, Quack, we'll catch you later now. I'm sure you got a uh, a whole radio full of people hollering at you, so we'll catch you on the flip side. I'll see you by now. Oh, yeah, that's what he says. It's the best is yet to come. I don't know so much, you know, old gentleman Jack. I got to him up on 35, man. I mean, me and him, uh, we tied that channel up for about 45 minutes. <laughs> Alright, Quack, we'll catch you on the flip now. You know who it is, your feathered friend in 10. Rooster in the Hills is gone. Hello, Dirty Diaper. She's doing some broadcasting your old self. I'm just giving you a 411, Roger.